hear that? That's the sound of the mountains. I don't know about you guys, but every once in a while, I just need to get outside, decompress. Even sometimes fishing doesn't do it. I need the entire experience. So I go camping and, and look at this place. So we're up here at 108 Kennedy Meadows, entrance to the immigrant wilderness. I mean, just look at that. Still snow. And uh, <laughs> it's just amazing. I love the mountains. I'd love to come out here. It just, oh, it feels like all the stress, all the emails, all, all the other things just wash away. I mean, <laughs> look at this place. We set up our camp way, way past the campsites. We're kind of in the entrance to the back country, a little bit over 8,000 feet. And it's just, I came up through the campsites, a whole bunch of people. I didn't want that. So I just went right past the campsites and, you know, we're just by ourselves, just Aaron and I. And I just, I love the outdoors. I mean, this is truly, you look at this, this is truly God's country. Look at that. And we're going we're gonna to definitely go take a better look, but it's just, it's just so refreshing coming here. And thank you guys for joining me. From here, it looks like it gets more canyon water, so we're not gonna fish that. Uh, we're gonna start heading back, it's like two o'clock. I need to go ahead and get some cell signals, so I'm gonna drive a little bit. This is getting loose. I'm gonna drive a little bit west to see if I can get some signal called away if we haven't been in contact. It's no cell phone signal up here. Um, then we're gonna head back to camp. But I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, this is the trailhead, Kennedy Meadows to the immigrant wilderness, and this is one of the areas we're gonna hunt. All right, back to camp. All right, just checked in with the wife. You always wanna make sure you check in with the family. I had to drive down 12 miles to get signal. So that kind of gives you an idea of how remote that is. The next toy, toy, the next purchase is gonna be satellite messengers. So I can go ahead and keep track of everyone, um, almost independent of where I'm going to be, whether it be out in the ocean or in the back country, especially for hunting season. I'm gonna be out there for a couple days and there's definitely no, no signal where I'm going. So I'm gonna head back to camp, maybe get a fire going, cook some hot dogs, enjoy a nice cold beverage and sell them for tonight because we're up at 8,000 feet and it's gonna be a little bit chilly. I think it's gonna be about 40 degrees tonight. Yeah, 48, 40, 45, 48 tonight where we're at. And now we can drive back. This dog loves to play. Bring it. Bring it. Loves to play. Come on. Out. Can't throw it, you're gonna drop it. Out. Out. Bring it. I can't throw you, don't bring it to me. Come on. Out. Out, good boy. So it's four o'clock. I think we're just gonna take a quick nap. I was a little tired, a little tired. Taking a little nap, it's a little breezy. But uh, it's actually pretty nice right now. Like 70 degrees, even inside the tent, I got a nice good breeze. Honestly, we've got snow right there, so it's not gonna be too hot. Um, take a quick nap and wait for a campfire time. <laughs> Some of you may be wondering why there wasn't a lot of fishing today. I know, I know, I know. But usually day one, he's crazy. 
and the fact it was really busy. It's a Saturday, so a lot of the campsites were busy. I wanted to go ahead and find camp. So I was kind of spending a lot of time trying to find a campsite. There goes the arrow as well. And uh, day two, it's Sunday. Most people are going to start to leave. And by that time, he's going to be tired because he hasn't been in, sleeping all day, like he usually does. He's a dog. So he probably spends three or four hours each day sleeping. And then at night. Ugh, I feel like a little out of my chest. Probably because of the altitude. But um, we're going to kind of get settled for dinner. I'm going to cook a dehydrated dinner. And then I'm going to probably make a hot dog once the fire is going. You can see arrows over there. Screwing around. But it's 5.30 and starting to cool down. So that's good signs. It's getting real chilly tonight, I bet. I brought a hat. Some sweatshirts. Got my 30 degree bag, so we'll be good to go. And there he is. Well, oh, he's messing around with something. Good morning, day two, and the sun's just starting to creep over. It's about 7 a.m. So 7:30, and the sun just about over that ridge. We're gonna see if we can find some trout. First thing I do is uh, break down the camp and make a little breakfast and let's see if we can find some fish. But it was cold last night, it was definitely cold. And we have a nice sunrise, a little bit of cloud cover, you can see a little bit of cloud cover. So hopefully that turns into good fishing. All right, spot number one. Let's get arrow out. He likes to fish, kind of. Whoa, that could have been bad, nearly broke the rod in the tailgate. That would have been bad. That was a birthday gift from Laura. Oh, hey, 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 come down, come down, come down. All right, so you can't eat this arrow. Leave it. That's a nice little undercut. Leave it, arrow. All right, that's the second snag. There's a lot of snags here. So we're going to tie up and then try somewhere else. All right, this is just a little bit downstream. Give it a try. See what I can find. This might be a little too rapidy. Yeah, I think we're just gonna continue downstream. Let's give this little spot a try. I pulled fish out of this spot, but not when it's this high. I think there's a couple big pulls down here. It's gonna be tough to cast. And I'm over that tree branch. I wanna step on that rock. Oh, don't think I'm stuck. You see, this is where some of that fire happened, obviously. Looks like there's a cabin or something up here. Box springs. Some kind of generator or something. Stove. Stove. Oh, some kind of tool shed. We made it down. You can see where it went up the hill, fire and everything. It's definitely a charred moonscape. All right, now we're at the middle fork of the Stan Stanislaw River. So, we dropped down, looks a lot better. I have my waders, as always, I didn't bring waders. So, I just hooked the microphone. Yay. I got one. Oh, it's a nice one too. Wow. I didn't bring a net. Yeah, that's a nice fish for stream. That's a nice fish. That's a 
nice little guy. Oh, and he's gone. All right, lost that nice wild fish at the bank. It is what it is, and that ends my day. It's still just an amazing trip. Oh, I absolutely love coming up to the mountains just to have the opportunity to kind of reset, refresh. I mean, the views that you've seen with me, it's just amazing. Ah, uh, now a little bit of a slog get home and then Monday morning back in the office. But this, uh, I just love it up here. I absolutely love it up here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click over here to see more. And I'll see you guys next time.